The Empire State tonight is home to an early season Patriot League matchup with title implications. Lafayette, the defending conference champs, have momentum coming off last week's victory over Wagner. They now face the 19th ranked Fordham Rams, coming off a record setting season in 2013. The offense is rolling again this year with an All American at quarterback, a freshman phenom in the backfield. And the Rams want to avenge last year's only regular season loss. It's a battle in the Patriot League, and it's on CBS Sports Network next. This would be from 46 yards, so they're going for it on fourth and three. It's Sherman. He's got the first down. Down to the 13-yard line. This one will be 37. His career long is from 37. Puts it up and good. Lafayette gets on the board first. The road team with a 3-0 lead. Yet to get in the end zone this season. Edmonds on the handoff and a huge hole. Speed to the end zone. Goodbye. Chase Edmonds puts four on the board. A 44-yard touchdown run. Mike Mirando coming on for a 36-yard field goal attempt. He's 7 of 10 on the season. From the left hash. Puts it up. Right through the middle. That might be a win, though, for the Lafayette defense. They hold for him to three. It's 10-3. Rams leading the Leopards. And he has really changed this game. Play action. Touchdown. Sam Ajala, his first touchdown grab of the season. And Fordham goes up two scores. And the big plays in the passing game. They've had explosive plays. Niebrick looking for another. It's to Bucky Jones Jr. He's into the end zone. Huge move. And a 24-yard touchdown pass. Niebrick to Jones. And a 23. Three advantage for Fordham. All right, lastly, what do you think of your son's touchdown move just then? Um, I probably got a flag because I'm a defensive player. So, but you know, he he, he scored. He was humble. He got back to the sideline. He's gonna move on the game and keep it going. All right, to Bucky Jones Senior, guys, back up to you. All right, Melody, and a huge move, 58 yards on the touchdown to Brian Wetzel. This defense getting rocked by the Fordham offensive attack. And you're the defensive backs. A little bit of confusion in the Fordham defensive backfield. Down to two on the play clock. Searfoss has it. Mike Duncan in the end zone on fourth down. Lafayette converts. And their first touchdown of the half cuts it to 31-9. Lafayette's defense forces Fordham for a field goal. 22 yards for Mike Mirando. He made from 36 earlier in the ball game. Puts it right through. Mirando's second field goal of the game puts Fordham up 34 to 10 here at home. LeVon Williams trying to help this Fordham defense. Play action and wide open. Brian Keller, the tight end out of New Jersey. The second touchdown pass from Blake Searfoss. It goes for 14 yards. And it's 34-16 Fordham with the advantage. They got to go for two. Down 18 to try and get it to a two touchdown game. Over the middle again and they convert. They get it in, Mike Duncan. The wide receiver making a play and Lafayette climbing back into this ball game. Ebrick with three touchdown passes on the night. Edmonds with his second on the ground. Touchdown. Chase Edmonds wiggles his way for an eight-yard touchdown run. And Fordham goes up by 22 on Lafayette. Well, up 22, Fordham set to go for two. Try and push this lead to 24. Watch Sam Ajala up in the corner, one-on-one -on -one for a jump ball. He's at the bottom of your screen. Edmonds with the jump pass. 
Dan Light on the receiving end. Two point two point what can't this kid do? You wonder how much the physical game that Lafayette played against Wagner affected him tonight in this ball game. They take an E, and Fordham's 10-game home winning streak, the longest in school history, and they avenge the loss last year to Lafayette. Six straight years, these teams have alternated victories, and tonight, Fordham knocks off Lafayette 42 to 18.